Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every day at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Now, less than two days ago, I put a video out asking you guys to get out your video cameras, review your car, and send them to me, and then I would put them on the channel. And well, to say that the response has been overwhelming is kind of really understating it. I, I am truly humbled by the response. I've had in excess of a hundred reviews sent to me and I've only just started sorting through all of the different clips and that's gonna take me quite some time. But I wanted to get a video up as soon as I could. So this is the first of what's gonna be called Peddler's Rides. Yes, first thing, a massive thank you and shout out to anybody who took the time and effort to get their video camera out and record a short video of their car. I have started downloading them. As I said, I've got an inbox that's very, very full. I promise I will get through all of them. When I've downloaded them, I will send you an email. So if you haven't heard from me yet, it's just because I'm working my way through it. And I'm gonna do my very best to get every single one on the channel in some format. My original idea was to put one per video, but what I'm now gonna do is probably bunch maybe a couple of videos together for each of the uploads to my channel, but they'll both be on a similar theme. Clearly we had our six themes. So today we're going to start off with a couple of car owner virus, probably because that's my favorite title for any of the uh, video categories but also because actually the first video we're going to look at is the very first one I opened over the weekend and it just is just my perfect garage so I thought we would start there. So are you ready for this? I'm going to top and tail and talk you through but we're going to head over to the magical garage of Andrew Pope. Quite a long-term subscriber but yes Andrew I now officially hate you because you have my perfect garage. Hi guys. This is my 1959 Austin Healy 106. Right, stop there. Stop there right away. That is my dream classic car, apart from a classic Mini and Austin Healy. Right up there, my friend. Winning. One of 15 right and drive UK cars built that year. Mate, what a colour spec. It's just beautiful. The body is aluminium and steel manual four speed gearbox with electric overdrive on four and three now i thought that car was beautiful on the outside but the interior mate really that is something very very special this particular car has disc brakes on the front which are original. Do you know what? I, I love the concept of spoke wire wheels on old classic cars, but I would absolutely hate to clean them. It must be a nightmare. The car was in storage in Germany for 10 years before I bought it, 2016, and recommissioned the car back to road worthiness. This included new components including the fuel pump, water pump, sump, windscreen, wheels. I overhauled the brakes. Some chrome work was replaced. It was re-registered back on its original number plate that it was originally registered on in 1959. It's a 2.9 straight six twin SU carbs. So I watched till this point, like you've just done, I thought, yeah, that's a beautiful car. What a great garage. And then we get taken outside. You ready? This is my latest purchase 2020. Audi RS4 factory order configured to my spec 
20 inch alloys. At this point, I would just like to point out that Andrew has apparently said that my review of the RS4 I did in 2018 was a big help for him deciding to basically fulfill a lifelong ambition and get an RS4. So that is all good. <laughs> Black leather, stone grey stitching. Has now done 500 miles. V6 with twin turbo, four times the brake horse of the Austin Healey. Absolutely amazing two cars. I love the RS4. Navara Blue is the same colour as my S4, so I am slightly biased, but beautiful spec, mate. Absolutely beautiful. But I watched the video and then thought, you missed out the best bit. What was hanging on the wall in the garage? I mean, he sent me a thumbnail, luckily. There's four bikes. I mean, we'll forget the Boardman for one minute. There's a Pinarello and two Cipollinis hanging on the wall. I mean, I hated you for the Austin Healey. I hated you for the RS4, but the bikes, mate, the bikes are amazing. Okay, so next off, we are going to Australia. Yes, I have had videos sent to me from all over the world. Quite incredible, really. And we're going to Australia to meet Pommy 2 and his Mark 1 Cortina, a proper lifelong passion and uh, something he's put a huge amount of work into. Hi guys, just thought I'd make a short video um, just on my 1964 Mark 1 Cortina. Now I got this far in the video and thought we're in for something special here. I mean already it looks beautiful and I've only seen the front headlight and, and an opening in the bonnet. I've probably spent well, spent well over a year doing it now. Basically working every night, every weekend, and I've took a fair bit of time off work doing it. Car was a um, complete bare metal respray. I made up a rotisserie so I could lift the car up and turn it over and sandblast the underneath, which um, is a job I'd never do again. I'd get, certainly get somebody else to do the sandblasting if I was doing that. Because that really impresses your neighbours. And the brakes are upgraded um, twin pot calipers with, um, I think, the two 70 mil discs. I'm not 100% certain. Um, Most suspensions all lowered. <laughs> Is that the cleanest wheel arch ever? I mean, it's just so clean in there. Spent a long time on the bodywork, getting it all straight. Well, pretty much as straight as what I could. So I'm quite pleased with that. There's quite a lot of dents in there before, but not too much rust, luckily. I've just been putting the interior back in today, so that's just about done now. I just have to get some new, bolt, uh, new bolts for the seat belts. So all the cab, uh, all the seats have been reupholstered, all new door trims, uh, new carpet, obviously. Um, pretty much um, standard. Um, apart from, I've added a couple of extra gauges in there. Car's not running at the moment. Which is a bit of a nuisance. All brand new bumpers, got them from the UK. They're all polished stainless, the bumper bars. All the lights are all new. Well, I thought the wheel arch was clean, but that is officially the cleanest boot in the history of cars. It's absolutely beautiful in the boot. I don't think I've ever said that about a car before. Um, I made up this stainless steel battery box. Move the battery to the back, make a bit more room in the engine bay. Same for the window washer bottle there. That's, um... Okay, I never thought I would swoon over a windscreen washer bottle, but that thing is beautiful, but it gets better. You wait till you see underneath this thing. I'll show you underneath the cat. There's a lot of work being done under there. A lot of body work. So as you can see, it's all been detailed under there. It's all been two-pack painted. Um, I made up the stainless steel exhaust. I just bought all the sections and welded them together. That was pretty easy to do. Um, all new brake lines, obviously. New pads in the back. 
uh, new shockers um, springs are obviously been lowered but that was done when I got the car so I'm not sure what the springs are out of but there's the engine the, it's a 1.6 Toyota MR2 motor which is a 16 valve twin cam the engine's basically standard um, it should put out about 140 horsepower and um, the only thing I've done I've had um, these throttle bodies I've had them um, got them off um, a 20 valve um, Toyota and I bought the um, the throttle bodies and the adapter to adapt them to my cylinder head so it sort of gives it the illusion of um, your carburetors on there and um, at the moment it's just got open bell mouths on there so it should sound pretty good although we'll have to get some sort of filter to filter out the dust and that's about it really so I'm just looking forward to getting the thing fired up and checking it for a run I've got to say, what a beautiful, beautiful thing. An amazing project. All of your hard work is so close to being fully enjoyed. I'm sure you just enjoy looking at it like we all did. And thank you for taking us round it. But when that engine fires up for the first time and you drive her up the road, that's going to be an incredible, incredible thing. And I can't wait to hear more. You must keep us in touch. Beautiful, beautiful car. Now I know the last one um, was only a single car, but I definitely, definitely think that you have a severe case of coronavirus. I mean, you clearly are absolutely in love and potentially a little bit obsessed with that Cortina, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I dropped you into the coronavirus uh, category because, well, you've got it bad, mate. You've got it bad. But guys, there you go. There's just two examples of some of the stuff that's been sent to me. And the ones I've seen so far, I've got some really great editing going on, loads of different styles. So when I drop them into my videos, I'll kind of, depending on how they've been shot, it might, might be that I cut in like I've done here or just let them play. But there's some brilliant ones. And I, as I said, I thank all of you for getting involved. I promise I'll get everybody on the channel at some point. Stay tuned. Now, uh, in terms of plans for when these are going to drop, I'm going to get as many out as I can. Clearly, I think we're going to be on lockdown for quite a while, so I've got plenty of time to get through them. If you haven't done one yet, get your camera out. There's no deadline at the moment. Just send me the footage and, that'll, and I will do my best to get, to get it uh, all downloaded and then categorized and then I can slowly start to build a plan of when I'm going to put them into uh, the videos. I would love to know, was that your dream garage? I mean, what did you think of Andrew's garage? Absolutely beautiful. And yes, I mean that Cortina, what a thing. But I hope you've enjoyed these first two peddlers rides as much as I have. And I, uh, I just can't wait uh, to bring you more. Honestly, we've got everything from push bikes to Fiestas to Lamborghinis. It's an incredible amount of stuff that we've been sent through. So it should keep us well entertained through lockdown. But I will join you on the next one. Now, tomorrow evening, I'm going to do another Peddler's Rides. And tomorrow evening, I think the theme is going to be Mini. Yes, we've had some very good Minis sent to us from all over the world. So I will join you on that one. But I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Thank you guys for sending me these two videos. Absolutely beautiful cars and bikes. Um, and I'll see you on the next film, guys. But you take care. Stay safe.